thank you. Um, we can continue with the piloting program. So uh, the project had main, uh, two main uh, target groups. Uh, one of them are higher education and uh, vocational education trainers and uh, industry trainers. And the other one is their potential audience uh, uh, students who are studying in uh, these education institutions and also SME workers. Um, these created learning units you just heard about are uh, implement, uh, piloted uh, in uh, two phases for these two uh, above mentioned groups. Um, the consortium created a recommended learning route uh, of the learning units uh, based on their content and difference in level. And this also can be found uh, on our website. Um, the participants can choose from the different uh, learning units and uh, only one is uh, strongly recommended. We can call it mandatory, but it's rather strongly recommended. It's learning unit one because uh, this provides the basics for all the other learning units uh, in regards to BIM and ENZA. Uh, the trainer trainer course uh, was created uh, for trainers uh, to participate and become BIMZ trainers. Uh, we try to recruit trainers who have some preliminary knowledge uh, related to BIM and ENZA. And uh, our main goal with this is to uh, help them be able to pilot learning units in the future. We didn't set out very strict criteria for them, but uh, there were some recommendations. Uh, they need to have some relevant qualification in a technical area, some training experience, uh, and uh, they should be highly computer literate since uh, all these uh, learning units are in Moodle. Also, it's uh, always uh, a positive thing to have good knowledge of country-specific market situations, different laws and regulations. And uh, at the moment, all the learning units are in English. So uh, in this first phase, we needed uh, participating trainers to have English language skills. We recruited trainers from the four partner countries, uh, Spain, Ireland, Croatia and Hungary so far. The trainer trainer course uh, was designed to not need um, a trainer in person to be present. It's uh, including uh, pre-recorded videos and surveys. Uh, there's a short introduction of the project itself, some pedagogical approaches and uh, some instructions on using the Moodle platform. For each learning unit, we have some pre-surveys. Uh, the pre-surveys aim is to get information about their expectation of the course, whether they have any preliminary knowledge uh, related to the content. Uh, the learning units uh, include the, the learning unit videos for the trainer trainer course include the topic, the structure and the content of the actual learning unit, some background information on laws and regulation and also uh, recommended tools and softwares to use. After all these learning units, uh, there are some post surveys. Uh, these are uh, created to gather feedback from the participants, uh, whether they were um, satisfied with the course, uh, were there any challenging topics, and uh, are there any suggestions from their side. We also included some conclusion slides for them. It's um, important uh, to let them know how to be able to uh, pilot the learning units in the future. We provide help to trainers who are willing to um, pilot any learning units. And uh, also uh, how to apply for the train trainer. Uh, there's a, um, a registration on the BIMS website where trainers can provide some information about their qualifications and previous experiences. Um, their application is reviewed by the uh, consortium and we accept or reject uh, their application, but so far almost everyone has been accepted. The piloting for the students, uh, it's also in two different phases since one of the target groups are students who have ongoing studies in higher education and uh, 
vocational education institutions, um, there are no criteria for them to be able to participate, but uh, they obviously need to have ongoing studies in a relevant field. And they also need to be computer literate. And uh, at this point, uh, they need to have some English language skills. We set some targets uh, in the project uh, that every uh, partner country, the four partner countries where we recruited trainers from, will um, train uh, together 400 to 500 students. The, uh, the implementation of the piloting for students is um, uh, the trainers who complete the trainer trainer will become a BIMS at trainer and they can select an existing course in their institution. After that, they can select the learning units they would like to pilot, and then they invite their students to participate in the course. Um, there are pre and post surveys uh, created for both of them. So there are one from the trainers and uh, another one for students. And uh, they have similar questions in the pre-survey there are also their, what is their expectation about the course. And uh, after the course, they can uh, provide us feedback whether they were satisfied with the course or were there any challenging topics for them. For the SMEs, it's a little bit different since uh, most SME workers are not students in uh, educational institutions. So for them, uh, we create uh, events uh, on our website where they can register. Uh, for different learning units. And uh, after that, they will be also uh, registered in Moodle and um, grouped. So trainers will have an easier uh, job with uh, implementing the learning unit. The SME workers also complete the same surveys uh, created for the students uh, to, to provide feedback uh, for the partnership. Uh, there's an overview of uh, the pilot trainings implemented so far. So as I mentioned before, four uh, partner countries, uh, Ireland, Spain, Croatia and Hungary, are started the piloting. Um, all uh, countries will implement uh, courses for all two, uh, so three um, target groups. Um, our main goal is to uh, pilot all 12 learning units and uh, uh, gather feedback uh, of the, from the participants uh, with the help of uh, the BIMSA trainers who are uh, completed the train to trainer course and willing to pilot these learning units. So uh, in the summertime, we had some uh, uh, SME courses implemented and we are very hopeful for the next semester in autumn where we can uh, involve more students in the pilotings. The evaluation and feedback, as I mentioned before, there were some surveys created uh, for the participants. Um, the train the trainer course surveys are in progress. Uh, we analyzed some of them already. Uh, there were some questions uh, regarding their overall experience with the training, uh, also their experience with the e-learning platform, whether it's easy to navigate, is it easy to follow the training content, or uh, is there enough theory and practice involved? Mm -hmm. They also have um, opportunity to provide their comments and suggestions uh, if they feel there's some topics were missing from the content, or uh, whether they had some challenging uh, elements in, in the learning units. And uh, what is our plan with these uh, feedbacks? Uh, our, our main goal with this is to create um, the analysis to be able to modify and update and um, fine tune the learning units um, because it would be um, a goal to in the future integrate these learning units into an existing curricula because right now in this phase uh, these learning units in the education institutions are piloted alongside the existing courses uh, but the end of uh, the project and uh, in the near future we hope to have these uh, final learning units uh, integrated in existing curricula.